Hey guys, DMB Solo Rider coming back with another ride in the DMB. Today's ride is up to Point of Rocks, Maryland. We're going to jump on the GW Parkway, then cut off through McLean, ride down by Great Falls National Park, and then we'll uh, kind of cut up there parallel to Route 7 most of the way towards Leesburg then jump on Route 7 for a stretch and right before we get to Leesburg we'll take 15 up to Point of Rocks which is gorgeous and um, then when we get on the Maryland side we kind of have a an option what I like to do up there is ride down uh, to River Road which pretty much meanders all the way up there along the uh, Potomac and the CNO Canal uh, it's got some nice twisties the road conditions are terrible but it's a fun little road and then I take River Road all the way down into DC head back to Virginia but they're doing some construction on a bridge down that way and so sometimes they have like a detour sign up and I don't know if um, that sign will be up today or not. If it isn't, then we'll do River Road. If it is, we'll just stay on Route 28. And uh, I'll ride out into some of that Maryland farm country. It's really pretty out there. And you'd never know you're like 15 miles from Washington, D.C. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of that. Um, I will try and put... Uh, a link to a map with GPS coordinates down in the description section below. Unfortunately, my best website for that appears to have become defunct. And there are a couple others that I use, uh, but they're just not as reliable as far as the, you know, the, the number of rides that they list and the quality of their maps. Um, if I can't find a good link to a website, you know definitely leave me a comment in the comment section and I am more than happy to email you the, the GPX file that you can use to pop into your GPS device or Google Maps and uh, put the map on your your phone so we're on Georgetown Pike heading down towards Great Falls National Park it's a nice little stretch when you're riding along the parks. It's, you know, kind of, there, there are some twisties. You know, it's a fun little road. The problem is I'm always here when the park is open and there's just a ton of traffic, people looking for parking to go get into the park and go hiking or whatever. And one of these days, I'm actually gonna remember to come down here when the park is closed and just rip through this place. See, this would be a lot of fun without any cars. So that's pretty much riding along Great Falls National Park. And we're just a couple miles from the bridge, Point of Rocks, Maryland. Coming up here, there's a turn right onto the bridge crossing the Potomac, and there's a little left turn you can make. It's pretty sharp, but you can go down underneath, and there's like a parking area underneath the bridge. It's usually kind of just dirt. It's not a parking lot or anything, so if it's just rain, you might want to skip it, but if it's dry out, go down there and get some pics of your bike. And here's the bridge. I think that rock wall is why they call it Point of Rocks. I don't know why else they would. Potomac. 
That's it. <laughs> All that way just across that bridge. I never need much of a reason. So here's 28. And we'll see if uh, River Road is open or if the detour is still up. I hope it's open. Ooh, maybe the detour isn't open today. Closed, I should say. The sign's covered up. This could be a good day. Now, I've only gone down River Road once. So, as with my other videos, I'm not going to try and kill myself. But I'll show you some of the good spots. You can decide if you want to do it yourself. to do it. Yeah, road conditions start to go downhill from here. You know a road doesn't get any love when they just throw a strip of concrete in the middle. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah guys, when I tell you the road conditions are not great here, I'm not exaggerating. A lot of potholes, big bumps in the road. some brake action there. I've only done it once, so I don't remember all the twists and turns. If I was pushing it, I probably would have already wiped out. Ooh, that's some gravel for you folks. Rode right over some dirt. near wipeout but my beginner skills kept me okay ooh that's some gravel for you folks you see I know I always mention gr gravel and grass in the road when you do these country roads that's all you get that's my first true slide. I didn't enjoy that. Just had a flashback of an 830 pound bike laying on me. I saw that dirt and gravel in the road as I was coming around the corner. I let up on the throttle and I couldn't really right the bike in the middle, you know, at the apex of the curve. And I fishtailed a bit. But you can see that when I fishtailed, it put me right into the other side of the road. If there had been a car there, I'd be toast. I mean, it wasn't going that fast, but you know, 20 miles an hour into a car going 20 miles an hour, what's that, 40 miles of force? It's 
not good. So I've been calling this whole stretch River Road. I, it hasn't been River Road. Since I won't find a map of this, I'm pretty sure I found this one on my own. I'll just write out the actual roads you take from my own map. I can't really paste the picture in the description. You know, always put them in my videos. But I'll get you the route, one way or the other. Yeah, I'm using plenty of brake on these curves, heading into them. Now we're onto the nice river road. Well guys, we are pulling into Potomac Village. I'm going to sign off here. I'm not actually riding down into DC today. I'm gonna jump on 495 and back to Virginia. Got some stuff I gotta get done this afternoon. But anyways, I hope you liked that ride. I had a good time. I did not enjoy my first official fishtail or the fact that if there had been any oncoming traffic, I might still be laying there in the road. But that's how we learn. <laughs> anyways, um, if you enjoyed the video and you want to check out my others, uh, I would certainly appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I try and do a video uh, every Friday, but not necessarily guaranteed, uh, especially over the next couple weeks, but I will certainly be putting them out there. And hit that like button so that other folks have a better chance of getting served my videos and I can get some feedback from them on what they like watching and what they want to see. It's what it's all about for me. And I will catch you on the next video.